Now, I created the view, but how do I assign it to a user or a group? That takes us back to our user permissions. So back here at users, I'm going to edit Knights Who Say Knee. Uh, this user needs to see that special view that I just created. So I'm going to go back into edit. They need to see another hedge. They need a hedge, yes, exactly. And a little herring and all of that. Um, so scrolling down, which views get used for which? So for example, Orion Summary Home. Hmm. Again, I went back and said, how do I know which views is being used for what? Well, now when I look at the user, I can see. And it says, this view is displayed immediately after the user logs. Right. So if I wanted that one, I could go to 01. Now this list happens to not be alphabetical. I know, you're welcome to talk to the UX team about how things enumerate and stuff like that. But, uh, and while you're talking to them, ask them about Dark Vein. Just saying. Um, but I think this is actually the default ones come first and then the customs come after that. That, that could be, yeah, absolutely. So there, I can set that. But if you ever want to know what is the default summary view for other things in each of the sections for server and application monitoring, for cloud monitoring setting, uh, each of those has your different views. So the application summary view is using the application summary mm -hmm. and so on. And it's interesting, right? Because at Swugs, we get a lot of feedback from you where you're using these custom views and groups together uh -huh. for things like different types of teams, right? Yes. So that if you are a part of the database team, you get a customized database right. overview page. If you're a part of the networking team, you're going to have a different logon if apps mm -hmm. or virtualization. That it's a great way to make sure that when you're inviting people onto your server, it, they feel like it's personalized just for that. Mm -hmm.